welcome to Warrior Bride International. Welcome for uh, to all of you who have tuned in to this channel. I just want to uh, say that it's an it's amazing time we are living in, and um, I have a. Just before I, I start, I just want to uh, represent the, the jewels I'm wearing because God, he had put on uh, us, uh, uh, we are um, we are wearing his signet, signet ring and it's a mandate from him that they, because we, we have to represent that God, he have a, a, a given us the signet ring, like we are in covenant with God and uh, this ring represent uh, that he we are uh, his signet ring and um, the reason the reason why I'm wearing these jewels is because that God he says the silver and the gold is mine and this uh, the sign I don't know if you can see this but this is a letter of Jacob and Jacob he when he went to to um, uh, to Laban's house before he went there, uh, he was living in a place called uh, Bethel and on that place God he he showed he, himself uh, and he uh, the letter of Jacob that he saw the the angels was ascending forth and back and and this is what God he he does in for us and um, and God he says in in Haggai 2 that the, the silver and gold is mine and uh, we know that the earth will shake and the heaven will be shaken but he will give his uh, his his wealth to uh, to his bride to his remnant and this is us who have claimed and believed and stand on the word of god that he will give us the the last ex exodus the greatest exodus in the in uh, the world's history and we are living in the biblical times, not in not in political times, but we are living in biblical times. What has been before, it will come again. And uh, this is the reason I just want to represent. And God, He spoke to me about that I should wear uh, this jewelry just to represent what is coming. And this is also prophetic that we are living in. So, so uh, we are coming out of Egypt. And and the God He will take down the the nowadays pharaohs, and we will see that we will receive the jewels, the rings, and and gold and silver. And if you don't have God, He, he knows your address and he, he knows where you live. So um, it's just, this is just a I know it's a long uh, introduction, but uh, I just want to say this before I start. Just have this in mind that we are in the times of of uh, Exodus the greatest time ever and there will be an outpouring and there will be a joy um, in the camp in God's camp and his family and he just love all of us but it doesn't and people are speaking about doom and gloom and rapture and fear and panic but God he says that we should not fear and we should not go into panic so we will let his shalom come down into our hearts and have the the divine peace over us and we will let let god uh, be god and uh, we will glorify his name in jesus name and before i uh, go into this word uh, i received this morning uh, the 7th of april and nine o'clock in the morning <laughs> and um, and the the title of this uh, word is science wonders and miracles free free science wonders and miracles yeah and I, before I start I pray father I thank you so much that you are present and you have never left us that your Holy Spirit is here and also in uh, the place of uh, our listeners that you are there also in their homes in their hearts and you have never leave, left them or forsaken them you know what they are standing in in trouble or 
whatever it is, if it's good or bad, you're still there. And you're the same God as you were yesterday and you are today and you will be forever. Thank you, Jesus, that we can be confident because of the blood of the Lamb, because you, you shed the blood for all of us, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that you will bring your shalom uh, to the whole world, to, to those, to the remnant. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you, Jesus, that um, come Holy Spirit, help us. Thank you, Jesus, that you are present. Thank you, Jesus, that you are here. And those who have sickness, heal them, Lord, right now in Jesus' name. And we go up against every attack of the enemy in Jesus' name because you have given us the authority and the mandate to speak to the devils that, that, that will torment us. And we speak to them in Jesus' name. Go, leave us. We have no place in our hearts, in our family, in everything what, what we live in, what belongs to God. Stay out of God's people in Jesus' name we pray. And Father, we thank you that you are present now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Kura Pasheka Pasandara Kapashaka Pasura. Hara Paruka Pasanda. Tak Jesus. Tak Jesus. Come Holy Spirit. We really need you need you in these days. We really need you now. More than ever. More than ever, Lord. And this is a time of harvest. Billion soul harvest. This is a time of harvest. And we will call you call for the the master of the harvest. Because the harvest is great, but the workers are few. And we call in the workers right now. Right now in Jesus' name. We call them in now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. So the word I will speak, signs, wonders, and miracles will follow my children, says the Lord of Most High. Haven't I told you that these signs will follow you when you preach the gospel, the good news, the gospel about my son Yeshua HaMashiach? My question is for you, my children, is who do you say I am? You will see my glory if you are expecting me to manifest in your lives. The book of Joel says that I will fill the earth with the knowledge of me. It means that I will enter, um, that I will enter um, into the earth and pour out my spirit, and it it will be the last outpouring at, that the earth has ever seen. Yes, signs, wonders, and miracles. I have created the whole m mankind. See. I'm standing on my feet before my throne. I say it again. See, I'm standing on my feet before the throne. Before my throne. What has been, it will happen again. But this time, no one can deny that I am that I am. I have already sent my angel armies to the earth to assist my remnants. No one and nothing can be greater than me because I am the Most High. Therefore, uh, therefore, uh, there will come no one after me. I will let my glory, my splendor go before me. The angels are singing, holy, 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 because I am holy. Those who have belittled me, they have been mocking me. Behold, I have had enough. I will remove them as I have uh, removed Pharaoh of Egypt. This time they will be so busy burying their own so they will not see what I am doing at the same time uh, for my remnants. This glory will hit the earth and I will fulfill my promises to my children. My children who truly loves me uh, as I love them I will shower my children in such crazy lavishness that they have never imagined. You haven't seen anything yet, my children. My glory, my glory, my glory will hit the earth. Yes, yes, yes. 
and Amen. Can you hear the abundance of rain that is coming? You have, uh, you have, you who have seen the little cloud will will see the glory uh, kingdom rain. You who have seen the little cloud will see the glory kingdom rain. I am calling the eagles, my prophets, to rise and decree and declare glory, my glory, my glory, my glory, my remnants, my bride who have have oil in their lamps. I will pour out my wisdom glory on you so it will be visible for the world for my glory to be seen on you. Shout! The victory is here. Shout! Shout! And shout for your victory is here. And rejoice! Woo! I'm so, <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I have seen your tears. I have collected your, all your tears and prayers and I will pour out my blessings over you and I did as I did on the day of Pentecost. This time it cannot be compelled to the past. No, this time is the time. Uh, no, this time is the time where I step up from my righteousness sake. This time my prime time is here because I have created the times and the seasons. So, my children, get ready, for it is getting wild in a fashion that you have never seen. In the book of uh, Joel, it says clearly, and afterward, it is uh, in Joel 2, from verse 28 to 30, verse 13, 30. And afterward, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see vision, visions. Even upon the men servants and upon the maid servants in those days, I will pour out my spirit, and I will show signs and wonders in heavens, and on the on the earth, blood and fire and columns of smoke. And recently, we have seen. Uh, you see. Mount Etna will uh, will come with columns of smokes, and there's shakings all over, and earthquakes, and you, uh, and on Monday, uh, tomorrow, on eighth of April, uh, there will be a an, um, a solar eclipse in the United States of America, and and this solar eclipse is so significant especially now because this t it would be a turning point for the whole world it's not only for america it's also for the whole for the rest of the world it's t the whole world is affected of what is going on in america so um uh, this uh, this time is for uh, this word is for now we have now words and and i would say that we we will see the things would change rapidly and uh, there will be signs and wonders and God he will come with his glory because we haven't seen his glory and God he says he will, he will come with his wealth transfer because the harvest have to be financed and God he says the wealth of the sinners is stored up for the righteous that's the reason why that you see the the collapse of the banks will come uh, the 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 price of the gold and silver will go skyrocket it will sh they will have the moonshot you could they call it moonshot and uh, the reason why we we see all these uh, uh, the things in the world that is like uh, you, everything is erupting and everything is shaking everything what you see that you think uh, that will never happen it happens it will happen because God, when God says something, He will always uh, show it in the nature, and that's the reason why you see all the things that is coming up. And you, and don't don't go into fear and panic mode. God, He says, stay calm, stay calm, have my shalom, and it's so important. And I would just want to emphasize this because. If we see all all the things that is uh, going on 
many people will panic and say, what, what is going on? What is going on? But if you have your faith in Jesus, he will not, uh, you will not be shaken because the kingdom of God is inside of you. And the kingdom of God will not be shaken. This is the most solid rock kingdom you can ever uh, have inside of you. Because of Jesus, he is, my kingdom is not of this world. And it cannot be shaken. Because with the, the significant or the, the, the things that represent his kingdom is his righteousness, his peace. His, his love and uh, this is what we have to represent that we are joyful and we are so excited for the time because this is not uh, uh, this is not the day where, where you say there's doom and gloom no lift up your heads and be happy because and rejoice, rejoice, rejoice! I'm so, I'm so excited just because we know that the good things from the Lord He will appear and He will never be too late. He is always on time because God He He wants us to know the timing. The timing to know God's timing is so important. And if you don't know about His timing, so then ask. Then ask. Jesus said that. Um, said to Jerusalem he was actually crying because they missed the timing at that time they, they didn't saw that it, that Jesus came to save the whole world some some saw some of his disciples saw that, this and he revealed himself for uh, for them on the Pentecost and he rose from the grave and he was ascended to the heaven heavens and that's what we we will also as he 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 is we will do the same because we will be the imitators of God and the world will see that his glory will be seen on his sons and daughters so be in expectance there's no time for fear there's no time for panic just put it aside and if you feel fear Speak to the fear. Go in Jesus' name. You have no room inside of me. You have no place inside of my life. You have no place inside of my family. Get out in Jesus' name. I speak to chaos. Go in Jesus' name. And it will disappear. Because God, he has given us the authority and the mandate to speak to everything. It has to be subject. Uh, or, and it have to, we have to subdue the earth. God, he says that he gave this mandate actually to Adam, but he gave, but now Jesus finished his work. He's a finisher. Let us be finisher. Let us be finisher. So, <laughs> glory days are coming. Lift up your heads and be hopeful and and cheerful, because God, he have, he always come at the right time, at the right reason, and in the right season. So be happy and uh, may God bless you. And I just want to pray that this message will sink into your heart and uh, let it sink because God, he is the God and he's the same yesterday, today and forever. It's not just what we're saying. It is like his statement. It's like, this is who I am. I am that I am. This is what he spoke to uh, to Moses. He said, I am that I am. It's going before you. And he does the same thing in our lives. So don't worry. Don't worry. Put your anxiety in everything and cast it out uh, over to Jesus and he will take care of it. He will do, do it because we belong to, uh, to Jesus. And if you don't know about Jesus, I, w I will invite you. I say, Jesus, I'm a sinner. Forgive me that I have sinned against you, that I haven't believed in you. And, and I repent from my sins. Forgive me for all my iniquities and cleanse me with the blood of Jesus. 
I repent. And thank you, Lord, as I have repented. I thank you that you will give me peace right now in Jesus' name. And you said, your peace is uh, not of this world. And um, what has been broken into my life, you will restore everything. Uh, the, so, and after you have invited Jesus into your heart, I also invite the Holy Spirit. So, uh, because God, he says that the Holy Spirit will take place in your heart and he will live inside of you. So I say, Holy Spirit, fill me now, right now in Jesus' name, right now. And fill me up so I can speak new tongues. Thank you, Jesus, because you said that this is the evidence of uh, you that is living inside of me. It is very simple, actually. And God, he says that he will never leave you or forsake you. He will never leave you or forsake you unless you don't want him in in his, uh, in your life. But the best place is is to be where he is and you will never be shaken you will never have to fear because he's the perfect love that drives all fear out so our father i thank you so much for those who have been listening to this message that you will bless every each one of them and you will fulfill the promises that you have given them that you are the hope of the world. You are the hope of the world because you're the only hope. You're the only door. You're the only way. You are the resurrection. You are the power, the dunamis power that you have. Re you are the resurrection. Thank you, Jesus. Said. You're the life in abundance. And when we have invited you into our hearts, like the Lord, you're, you have said that our life will be in abundance and in overflow. Thank you, Jesus, for to listen to our prayers. And thank you, Jesus, that you will bless all those who are listening to this message, that you will that you will be there for them. And, and come with your presence, Lord. Come with your glory. Glory, glory. I, I declare, de decree and declare your glory come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for listening to our prayer. And um, have a wonderful day. May God bless you. We love you. And Jesus loves you. And uh, see you next time. Hi.